welcome to Earth Trifle. And I'm going to be trifling with this bread oven. I'm going to light it. I'm going to show you how I light my bread oven. And it's really, really similar. It's a bit less like lighting a fire, really. But the difference being is you don't light it right at the back where the fire is going to be a bit later on. But at this stage, we just want to light the fire. But we do it at the front. And then push the fire to the back. And then we can load it with more wood. But let me show you how I'm going to do that. So first of all, I'm going to get my, um, my dry wood and shavings. And that's my lighter. I'm just going to chuck it in. I'm not going to worry too much about it, I'm just going to chuck it in. Alright. So effectively, all I've done is just chuck rubbish in there, but now I'm going to rearrange it. So, basically, this is our fire starter. And that is basically shavings, or well, these are actually peelings off my lathe. Where I'll be turning some platters on my wood turning lathe. Which I'm quite fortunate to have. So, we just ha have our shavings. We start that and we create our little mound with our shavings first but then we use that to um, place a few little blocks on the top but then I create a pyramid once it's tall enough that is so create my little pyramid like so and then we stack our little sticks up around it like that so you can get the idea can't you we've got dry wood which is going to be um, lit by the shavings on the bottom. If you haven't got shavings you could use dry leaves or bracken or anything like that. Now in France we find that we drive them down the little back lanes and what have you. You often see old boys collecting um, bracken from the um, vergers and they dry that and they use it for their fire lighting in the winter. It's a quite a good idea I think. So I'm to go on my little sticks but I don't need to do that because because I have a wood shop here and I make stuff out of wood um, basic, all I have to do is save it. Make sure it stays dry. And I'm wearing this silly hat and it keeps getting in the way. Oh dear me. So we create this little pyramid at the front of the fire. Or oh, the front of the bread oven, I should say. So there we are, that's our little pyramid. And now all I'm going to do now is just light it. There's a few bits of wood scattered around the back there. But I'm going to take my light out first because I don't really want to burn it, do I? So, <laughs> so what I'm going to do now, it's a bit dark right now, isn't it? These little lights are quite good. This is a, um, like a windproof type light. It's almost like a little mini blowtorch, really. It's quite good. It's good if you've got a nasal hair, you can, you can get rid of that. Of course, yeah, of course. Don't do that. Uh, <laughs> and just literally find your little sub little space in your fire or in your little sawdust there or shavings, whatever you've got or even cotton wool if you've got cotton wool I don't recommend it because some cotton wools aren't actually cotton some of them are actually fiberglass so there we go that is my little fire so quickly that started and now what's going to happen is the heat will be con um, concentrating in the middle and coming up and drawing up the sticks and that's how you light your bread oven Anyway, thank you for watching my little video on how to light the bread oven. And now I'm going to be loading it up with wood. And, well, we're going to bake some pizzas. Anyway, thank you for watching. And if you're most kind, then click like and subscribe. And maybe the little bell icon. Because then you'll get a warm, fancy video in your pocket. And that'll be me uploading another earthy kind of video. I suppose it's earthy. We'll cook them with the heat. It's not too much carbon dioxide, is it? Anyway, thank you for watching.